Get ready to blow your friends' minds with these three underrated kiln-dried lumber products. And make sure you stick around to the end because we got a bonus tip for you that'll make you say, why didn't I think of this before? Let's go. First on the list, I brought this into the mix because it's an affordable way to achieve that hard maple look, but it's softer, so it's easier on your tools and your wallet. Our shop offers four and a half and five inch widths. It's hit or miss planed on one side so you can get a clean look or flip it over to reveal the saw marks for a rustic look. Just sand and stain with a pre-stained conditioner and water-based stain for the best result. Now we have one of my favorites. It's swirling grain pattern and dark tone bring that barn wood vibe without breaking the bank. It's super cheap, but you gotta act fast. The emerald ash borer beetle is threatening its existence. As this quarantine zone spreads further north, black ash is becoming more popular and scarce. Get it while you can, folks. Our black ash tongue and grooved end match paneling that you see here adds a rustic touch to any home, making you feel like you're always at the cabin. So our black ash end matched tongue and groove paneling comes in four, five, and six inch widths. It's got a V groove on the face and then flat on the back side here. I'll show you a close up of that V groove right now as we're speaking. As you can see through this close up, that V groove is pretty cool looking and you can flip it over and just have a flat surface if that's the way you want it. It's worth mentioning that these come in random lengths as well. You know, two feet all the way up to eight feet. Along with black ash, we have other hardwood end match paneling in our shop. Different styles, all the way from aspen and basswood up to mixed hardwood paneling as well. We even have circle saw and oak paneling. That's for a different video. So if you're in central Minnesota, look us up on Google and come check us out. And for the third ticket, husbands, this is your shortcut to that pallet wall look that she saw on Pinterest without breaking your back, tearing apart old pallets. Not cheaper than free pallets, but it sure beats pulling out nails all day. A rough sawn pine is left rough and still has its saw marks for a rugged look and being kiln dried, it probably won't move on you. You could stain it any color, skip plane to reveal the saw marks, or you can leave it rough for that pioneer cabin vibe. So are you loving these tips so far? Before we get to that bonus tip, hit that subscribe button for us. It's a free way to help us and we're so close to 1,000 subscribers and you won't want to miss our epic giveaway that we're going to be doing here soon. Now for the bonus round. Here's a hack for you. Can't get roughs on kiln dried white pine in your area? No problemo. Just grab some pine or any lumber for that matter that's already been planed and run it alongside your table saw to bring it back to that roughs on stage. And that'll work. Cut, print, check the gate. With all that being said, you now have some good ideas to get that look your friends will be jealous of. But you might screw up this project if you pick the wrong type of lumber. Now click on this video right here to see the critical differences between these two types of lumber. Trust me, picking the wrong one here could ruin everything you work so hard for. So, I'll see you there, brother.